Hi, friend. I have a secret to tell you. Come on in. We're in Bali on a little vacation. Come join me. So you guys have been asking for a relationship reveal. And today is the day. We're going to answer all of your spicy questions. And I'm going to show you who she is. The most amazing, wonderful, gorgeous, thoughtful, perfect foot dog Dana. Oh, hello. Hi, beautiful. Hello, oh. handsome. Oh, How you're are so you? pretty, so amazing. You're so amazing. <laughs> Welcome oh. to the channel. Oh, thank so you. So this video is part two. And part one of this video is actually on Dana's channel. Mm -hmm. Make sure you watch that one. By the way, what, what, what's that? What's it here? Since we announced it on my channel, we could answer some questions about our relationship here. And I put some <laughs> questions in the bucket. <laughs> and now we have some tongs. Oh my These God. <laughs> The tongs of truth. The tongs of truth. And wow. then we'll reach in, grab a question, and then we'll take turns answering. Wow, I love that. Oh! What's the first question people always ask us? How did we meet? So the story is very long and complicated. We met online. Yeah. Yeah, we met online. <laughs> But hey, you know, I will say but meeting online today is really amazing because yeah. there's no way the two of us would have ever matched. I couldn't imagine where I would have met Dana. Yeah, I think we should yeah. also specify we met on a dating app. So oh. he didn't slide into my DMs or anything like that. <laughs> yeah. And even though Dana had a huge following already when, when we met, I actually have never seen her before. So it was it was completely random. In a good way. In a good way. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. But I guess what's interesting is our first date was in February of 2022, mm -hmm. which is, uh, yes, I remember. Yes, I remember. Oh, okay. So do I. So do I. <laughs> it was February 12th of 2022. And if you guys think about what February 12th is, uh, just a few days later is Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. Uh, we met on, the, on, the, on February 12th. Immediately on that first date, at the end of the first date, I was like, I have to see you again. I, I for sure thought I was gonna get a no as an answer, but then I asked Dana what she's doing on Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. So two days after we met, <laughs> we were each other's Valentine and we went on a very nice Valentine's date. And Miro made it extra special. He made <laughs> reservations. And of course he got me a Valentine's flowers and chocolates Aww. and the whole shebang. And he was a very nice Valentine. <laughs> yeah. So that's a cute little story of how we first met. Sometimes in life, it's just like that. You just yeah. have to ask for what you want. Should we start answering questions? You want to go first? I guess so. I'm holding the tongs of truth. <laughs> the tongs of truth. <laughs> All right. Okay, here's one. Here's one. Uh, What's it gonna be? I don't know. Who made the first move? Oh, God. So, truth be told, when I reached out to Dana on the dating app, she ignored it multiple, multiple times. <laughs> I don't really like dating apps. Like, I don't do it for fun. I did it because I needed to. Um, and so I kept, like, you know, I kept not checking it, so oh, yeah. uh, I wouldn't check it for days at a time. But obviously, once I did, I realized what a steal Miro was. Oh so my I god! Oh my god! I had to reply and uh, you know nail down a date with Miro. So, uh, oh come on! You know, I I will say in Dana's defense, uh, the way I reached out, some of the things that I said, <laughs> I uh, <laughs> I don't know. See, it just tells you guys that you can be awkward and silly and still score a deal of a lifetime. Oh my goodness. Okay, now that you've brought this up, let's specify what you mean. Uh, so oh, I, do we have, have to? Yes, we no. do. Yes, we do. Okay, so I asked him just as a conversation starter, because uh, it said you were a doctor on your profile. So yeah. I asked, what specialty are you? And yeah. he gave me a hint. This is the hint he gave. Oh God, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> so I said something like, I passed gas. It's in the small, dark room in the basement of Las Vegas. Yeah. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, like... so I asked him, oh, radiologist? <laughs> no, anesthesia. At the time, I thought it was clear. I just thought you were a lactose intolerant radiologist. <laughs> <laughs> but despite that, we're still together, yes. okay, a year and a half later. So it just shows you that you don't always have to be perfect. Mm -hmm. 
You just have to be perfect for each other. Yeah, you are perfect though. No. Okay. But well, you're perfect. Oh, thank you. Miro kept expecting me to have red flags, and I kept expecting Miro to stop love bombing me because he was so nice. I, was, I just thought to myself, oh, love bombing. Yeah. I need to be careful. Uh, <laughs> Shred carefully. <laughs> By the way, Dana had to explain to me what love bombing was yeah. like last week because I didn't know what that was. This is how like out of touch with social media I was before I met Dana. <laughs> it's funny because I, um, again, I, I was barely even on. On Instagram and when I met Dana that's she was the one that inspired me and um, couldn't have imagined being here today we're both in a very privileged position and yeah. as always Miro gives me way more credit than I deserve <laughs> in that <laughs> oh you deserve so much credit I would not even consider doing it if it wasn't for you okay the bucket. I'm a holder of the bucket okay here's the question uh, who said I love you first I did. Yeah. Of course, of course, of course. I remember exactly. I actually, I planned it out. I was, it was very, I was like, oh, I have to find like a perfect moment. I remember we were staying in, uh, as one of our first trips together, we went to Paris and we had this balcony and the balcony actually overviewed the Eiffel Tower and at night it lights up. So it's very, very pretty. And so we got a bottle of champagne mm -hmm. we opened it together. And then I said, uh, I love you. And I said, thanks friend. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> yeah. I said I love you too very much. It yeah, was very it sweet. Did. It was very nice. It was our first international trip together. Yeah. It was very romantic. It was very and romantic. Miro chose a very romantic time to say he loves me. Yes. And since then our love has only grew a whole different level today than we did in, in the very beginning and those red flags never came. <laughs> Who is the funny one? Oh, pff, come on guys. Obviously. <laughs> but talk Dana with like, how many millions of viewers do you have now? Like six, six million, like bazillion. Like yeah. yeah, obviously. Comedy, this one. I'm not funny. I, I mean, you're pretty funny though. When I try to be funny, it's usually just sad and people will cry. <laughs> That's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah. Dang. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the next, next one. Who is the better cook? Oh, well, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's an obvious question. You make a pretty mean French onion soup. That's true. You have to think about that one because there's not that many things. <laughs> yeah, French onion soup, morning eggs, Yeah, I guess. eggs. I was about to say eggs. Yeah, omelet, yeah. Who is the most romantic? Oh. I mean, I feel like this is Miro. Oh, yeah? He, I mean, yeah, you always make things very special and you put a lot of thought into things and you're a very caring boyfriend. Oh. And you're very romantic. You know, you always try to make those moments special. Oh. Like when you said, I love you and Valentine's Day and oh. something else we're going to reveal pretty soon. Each, each of these moments are special because the two of us are together. That's true. Who is the bigger baby when sick? <laughs> <laughs> Illness hits Miro harder than me because we get each other <laughs> sick a lot. Whenever one of us gets sick, yeah. both of us get sick. But somehow we get sick with different illnesses <laughs> or different levels of illness. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I, I thought I had allergies one time and then Miro was like bedridden. <laughs> yeah. Poor Miro. Yeah, yeah. Who is more stubborn? Oh, this one is, uh, oh man. Oh man, you kept. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> yes, but being stubborn is good because yeah. you have to be stubborn in life in order for you to achieve things. And I think Dana really exemplifies that mentality. <laughs> He's basically <laughs> saying I'm stubborn, but he puts it so nice. He's like, she gets what she wants. Yeah. She knows. That's right. She knows. That's she right. Wants. That's. Right. I don't know if I can even ask this. Um, who fell in love first? I know from the very first date, I knew that Dana's going to be amazing. And that's why I wanted to see her so soon after her first date on Valentine's Day. So I definitely fell in love first, for sure. Yeah. I, I mean, I for wouldn't sure. say that. It's hard to say. <laughs> when you know, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Who's the messier eater? Obviously, like, she's so beautiful. Like, the makeup is done great all the time. The hair looks amazing. And then the chocolate is, like, all over the place. And I'm like, how did you, like, how do you manage to do that? Like, it's more on my clothes than in my stomach. Just, <laughs> yeah. It's a really, yeah. it's really bad. <laughs> I love it. It's very cute. Who's the better driver? <laughs> that would be Miro, because I'm always the passenger princess. <laughs> so who is more frugal? 
We don't buy a lot of stuff. Uh, we have nothing designer. Uh, we drive cars from, I mean, like <laughs> decades ago. Yeah. But we do spend on experiences. So like case in point, like vacations, we, we like to go on uh, and really experience life because you live once. And that started to be the case for me after I met Miro because, you know, during the pandemic, I was in residency and there was no really traveling then. And before that, I couldn't really afford to travel yeah. at all. So Miro was the first one that took me to outside the country for our Paris <laughs> vacation. And yeah. since then, we've gone to a lot of different countries. I don't even know how many. It's a unique point in our life where uh, we're able to travel because, you know, training for doctors is extremely intense yeah. and it leaves very little room to travel. And on top of that, you're pretty broke. But now that we're both done with residency and training, we finally have the flexibility to. So I'm just trying to take advantage of it while we can. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Time to do one last one. Okay, I'll pull this one. Oh, okay, there you go. Tongue's the truth. Tongue's the truth. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Who has the last say in an argument? Well. <laughs> Obviously me. We so rarely argue. I, I couldn't even think of, of an argument that yeah. we've had, but she definitely always wins if we do have one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep talking, Miro. Exactly. Miro always knows exactly what to say. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was fun for us. Hopefully, you've enjoyed watching us and um, learning a little bit more about our relationship. Hopefully, uh, we can make some more content for you guys, maybe on what our lives look like. Uh, I think we're very lucky to have the lives that we do. Oh, yes. We'd love to share them with you. We hope to see you guys again soon. And make sure you watch part one of the video on Dana's channel. It's going to be linked link right here just just so you can go and see it yeah i think there's gonna be something else that's gonna happen pretty soon mm -hmm. so <laughs> stay tuned for a major announcement in a couple days all right so uh now can we jump in the pool absolutely yeah. but don't forget first to like subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time that we post <laughs> <laughs>